Welcome to this presentation about the blending calculator, the VEP version of this calculator, and um, I'm here to present how to use it. As you will see, it's very simple. First of all, in this calculator, I will choose the volume of oil that I want, of blend that I want, the total volume. So just have to click here and to enter number. I will say I want to do a, a bottle of 30 milliliters. Then I will choose the dilution rate. So the dilution rate will be the proportion of essential oils that you have in your bottle, the total volume. And uh, it could be 100% when it's a blend of essential oils and only essential oils. But if you use a, a, a carrier oil, for example, or alcohol or, or gel, gel uh, maybe you can change this number. I will show you afterwards. Then I will, um, you can choose also to change the number of drops per milliliter. And I speak about essential oils here. It means that normally I recommend 30 drops per milliliters, but you can adjust this number if you are, if you think it's, it's too much or not enough. So very easy. The first thing that you can do is, uh, you choose the first oil. So in my case, I will do it with true lavender, 900 drops. Is the number of drops of that we need of lavender if I want to uh, create a bottle of 30 milliliters and 100% of dilution, dilution. It means that your bottle of 3 milliliters will be full of lavender. It makes sense, it works. If I want to do, um, uh, to add another oil and let's say orange, uh, then you will see that you will have to do for 30, uh, 30 milliliter uh, bottle, you will have to you have to add 450 drops of orange and 450 drops of true lavender and it makes sense because these two oils have the same blending factors it means that when you speak about the, the perfume of the oil they are the same as strong uh, together so they there is no one stronger than the other normally normally if I want to add another oil, and let's move to geranium, for example, you will see that the numbers will change a little bit because this time you have to add 200 drops of geranium. It's a little bit less than the lavender or the orange, the way, where, because you have to put 350 drops of each. It makes sense again because the geranium is a, a stronger oil, uh, all fat speaking than orange and lavender so you need a little bit less of uh, geranium in order to balance the blend so if you stay with these three three oils is is the number of drops that you will need to use to do a 30 milliliter uh, milliliters bottle but now i would like to to go a little bit further and i would like to add another uh, oil for example bergamot Alors, Bergamo, it's uh, something very lighter about smell and perfume. And in that case, you see, you will need more drops of Bergamo. Bergamo is 277, 242 for the true lavender, 242 for the orange, and 100, 138 for the geranium. So, very interesting. But now I want to add something very powerful, like cinnamon. And in that case, you see, to balance and to get an idea before starting your blend, you, you just need to add 64 drops of essential oils of cinnamon in order to blend, uh, to balance your blend. And it's really normal because cinnamon is a very strong oil. And if you add too much of that, your blend will be much, uh, smelling much more of a cinnamon. So, it's a point that I want to say about the blend, uh, the, the blending calculator. It's it's an it helps you to to do your uh, you you to do your blend before. So it means that of course it depends of the power of of your oils, uh, where they are from, how they have been distillated, how old they are, how was the year, how was the process. Many many factors enter in the uh, production of an essential oils, and sometimes one oils compare the same oil compared to two between two brands two years they could be a little bit different so you can adjust the numbers here 
And of course, if you want to do a, a blend that is a little bit flowery with these five oils, you will add a little bit of true lavender and geranium. If you, of course, if you want to get a, a more citrusy or uh, blend, you will add a little bit of orange and bergamot. So like that, you, you adjust. It's really the foundation of your blend, but it gives you a really good idea how to start with that. So as I said, uh, in the calculator, you can change the dilution rate, and that's the second thing. And I will start from this blend, and let's say that I want to do a spray with alcohol, for example, and I want a dilution rate of 10%. And now I will have new numbers, because I will get <clears throat> the, the numbers of drops and the volume of a carrier uh, in my case, it would be alcohol. So it means that when I will start to do the, 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 the spray, I will add 27 milliliters of alcohol, and then I will add six drops of uh, cinnamon, 26 of uh, bergamot, uh, 13 of geranium, 23 of orange, and, and the same number for true lavender. And like that, you have a complete calculator for your blend and uh, where you can choose your dilution, your volume, and then the, the oils that you want to add in. Of course, it's very flexible process, uh, calculator because if you want to remove, for example, cinnamon, finally you decide that you don't want to use this oil, you just take it out, you leave it like that, so no drops, and then you have four essential oils and, and everything has been recalculated in order for you to, to, to adjust your, your blending. So you see, very simple, very efficient, very flexible. Um, all that I pray use likes, <laughs> I would say, and, and that was really the purpose of this um, calculator and presentation. Um, I wish that you enjoy it, I wish that you use it, and I uh, wish you an essential blending day. <laughs>